Welcome to UW-Whitewater. College is an exciting time in life and we are happy that you chose Whitewater. We would like to begin by showing you what to expect from the residence halls. We will also walk you through our housing options, discuss the role university housing plays on campus, and the move-in day process. UW-Whitewater features 12 traditional residence halls on campus, one suite-style residence hall, Starin Hall, and one campus-operated apartment, Cambridge Apartments. In a traditional residence hall room, the following furniture is provided. Two desks, two chairs, two dressers, two bed frames, two twin extra-long mattresses, and two closets or shelving units. In a Starin Hall suite, the following is included. A kitchen with a combination microwave pizza oven, refrigerator, dishwasher, garbage disposal, and a lot of counter space, including a peninsula with four stools. A living room area complete with a coffee table, couch, oversized sofa chair, and end table. Four single bedrooms that contain a loftable bed, twin extra long mattress, a desk, a chair, and a dresser. The suites include a bathroom, shower, and a two sink vanity. While traditional first year students are not considered for placement in Starin Hall or the apartments, we thought it would be helpful for incoming students and their families to know about options beyond the first year. The room reapplication process where current students select for the following year occurs during the spring term. Be advised university furniture must stay in the room, so be creative with the room setup to maximize space. Lofting is a great option. All of our halls offer modular furniture that can be bunked or lofted with a rented kit. Bunking beds is when one bed is simply placed on top of the other bed and does not require a loft kit. If the student wants to have the bed off the ground and place a futon, desk, or other items under the bed, a rented loft kit would be required. Lofts are available to rent through a partnership with Bedloft.com. Each room has the opportunity for wireless internet and high-speed internet setup connections. There is cable television with over 100 channels, including many in high definition. The first piece of advice we have for incoming students is to talk to your roommate. If your roommate has a microwave with a 900 watt maximum to bring, you don't need to. This goes for all major furniture and appliances, including a refrigerator that is 4.7 cubic feet max, TV, DVD player, and futon. Items that make your room feel more like home include pictures, posters, room decorations, snacks, and an umbrella. All residence halls do not allow pets except for harmless fish in a tank that is smaller than 20 gallons. See uww.edu housing for a complete list of policies. All halls have a form of computer lab with printing capabilities. Each hall also contains a laundry facility. The cost of laundry is included in the housing rates, so that means no coins or debit cards are needed. In addition, each hall has a full kitchen, vending machines, a pool table, 24-hour-a-day secured entry, study lounges on each floor, a front desk, and multi-purpose rooms. Each residence hall has a front desk staffed by students and offers items residents can check out. These include kitchen equipment, sporting goods, and games. The halls provide mail service from USPS. Students who have been awarded work-study through their financial aid package are encouraged to apply for the front desk positions. Applications can be found through your student portal. Students are expected to clean their own rooms. The front desk provides free garbage bags and offers vacuums to be checked out by presenting a student ID. In Cambridge, these items are available through your RA. University Housing employs live-in staff for each hall. Complex directors and assistant complex directors are responsible for day-to-day -day operations. In addition, each hall averages two RAs per floor who help facilitate positive learning standards and encourage an environment for academic success. RAs are a great resource for individual assistance and can help with problems that may occur. The residence halls also have involvement groups such as LIT and RHA. Leadership Involvement Team, or LIT, 
organizes student involvement through activities coordinated by floor representatives and event planners. Residence Hall Association, or RHA, is an organization that promotes interaction among different residence halls. RHA programs provide social, cultural, and intellectual development in the residence hall community. The residence halls offer a variety of specialty living options. These include learning communities, global village, substance free, and quiet study. University Housing has a great working relationship with the University Police. These state licensed police officers are an important part of our UW Whitewater community. Additionally, the residence halls have two residence hall officers assigned specifically to University Housing. They focus their time on residence hall and community living safety, programming, and interacting with the students to ensure their safety. Wells East and Wells West both stand 10 stories high and feature some ideal places open to all residents on campus. The University Fitness Center is located in the lower level. This is one of two fitness centers located on campus. The other is the Williams Center. For information on memberships, please go to the Rec Sports website. Jitters Coffee House is located on the first floor. You can buy various coffee and ice cream drinks, enjoy live entertainment, play board games, and attend designated study nights. Also in the basement is a tutorial center for student use. This is in collaboration with the Campus Tutorial Center. It allows students to receive help in the residence hall where they live. Additional sites are available in other residence halls as well. The University of Wisconsin-Whitewater has many more great options and things to learn about. If you have any questions about information in this video, please stop by our table at the Information Fair or at our office on the second floor of Goodhue Hall. If you would like to see the model room, it is located in Goodhue Hall and is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. This room is decorated and features a bedloft unit. Since students will not see this video today, please refer to our website to watch it with them. Otherwise, always feel free to contact us by phone at 262-472-4200. That's 262-472-4200 or email us at housing at uww.edu. We hope this has been a helpful look into what to expect from your transition to Whitewater. We look forward to seeing you in January.